Hi everyone, I'm gonna to talk today about screen sharing settings, advanced settings. To find those settings, you're gonna go up here to the upper left-hand corner and click on this little green shield. That'll bring up the settings page. And then what you're gonna do is click on screen share. Enter full screen when a participant shares their screen. So what that means is it'll just go to full screen mode. I don't like full screen mode because it displaces my participants in chat groups and makes the whole thing. As a teacher, I want to be able to see those at all times. So I take that, I took that off. I found it nice. Maximize zoom when a participant. So when someone shares a screen, if your window is shrunk on your screen, you're only using part of your screen, this will pop the window out to be a full screen of the of your computer screen. So it'll be the whole size. Um, you can always make it smaller, but that, that'll kick you out right away. Um, and scale to fit a content to zoom window. So that means if I since if my window is bigger than your screen, it'll shrink my shared window down to fit on your screen um, and it'll scale it down so it looks decent. There'll be some wasted space above and below, um, but the alternative is probably to cut off data, which that'd be bad. Enable remote control of all applications. This is a more complicated one. If you and the other person you're, you're um, sharing with have this clicked, you can actually choose to allow that person to control your computer from their computer and show you something on the screen you're sharing. Um, but again, both have to be checked. And it's going to feel a little weird to be able to give someone control of your computer because we've been told for a long time, hey, don't do that. That's a terrible idea. You're going to get hacked. Um, so I don't try and use that. Side by side mode is that's when someone shares, but then the video of everyone still kind of stays open with like fewer videos going on. So if you do side by side mode, you'll still be able to keep some of those um, video gallery open. Silent system locations. I like putting this on because if I get an email and it goes ding dong or whatever, that ding dong is suppressed and my my uh, my viewers or my participants won't hear my computer doing all these little noises. Now let's talk about the few more in the advanced column. So down here is the advanced button. If you click on it, um, hardware acceleration. This be above my pay grade. I just leave it checked. Um, if you're having trouble with connection speed, so you have a slow connection, you can limit your screen sharing to fewer frames per second. So most video is 30 pictures per second are being sent out over your um, internet connection. You can reduce this manually down to some small number. Now this will make it more jerky. So it'll be like every second they'll see whatever's changed between that second if you do one frame per second. Um, but what, we'll, what it will do is it'll be less data for you to download, so that picture might be clearer, although it might be jerks between things. This is not a good thing to do for video, but if you're doing something static like a PowerPoint that doesn't change much, it might really help your connection speeds to do this way. The green border is when you're sharing your screen, there's a little green border drawn about what you're sharing so you see what you're sharing. The problem is every once in a while you're using something that that green border covers up, so you can turn that green border on or off here. And that's it for our advanced uh, screen share session. Sorry, it was uh, I had to talk so fast. I only have a few minutes to get it done. Have a good day, everybody.